Hello everyone and welcome to this video overview of our first leadership module in our balanced assessment series where we are focusing on a comprehensive balanced system of assessments. My name is Carrie McDaniel and I'm joined today by Misty Higgins and we are professional learning coordinators in the Division of Program Standards Office of Teaching and Learning at the Kentucky Department of Education. And this year we are focusing our work around addressing two essential questions. What resources are available to support Kentucky educators as they work to create and implement a comprehensive balanced system of assessment that is aligned to the Kentucky academic standards? And then also, how can schools and districts utilize the formative assessment process to help students meet the grade level expectations built within the CAS? We are currently in our second year of the three year implementation plan that is focused on balanced assessment. So really addressing that question of how do we know if students have learned by drilling down on formative assessment. In order for district and school leaders to build a balanced system of assessment, it is important that they look to the PSEL standard four for guidance, which focuses on curriculum, instruction and assessment. We know that this standard really calls for leaders to implement and align assessment within and across grade levels while being mindful of the individual needs of learners, how culturally responsive those assessments are, and how closely they align to the CAS. Leaders are also called to ensure rigorous and authentic assessment practices and ongoing monitoring of student progress to promote continuous improvement. So now let's look at the learning goals for this module. So by the end of module one, leaders will understand the characteristics of a comprehensive balanced assessment system, as well as the purpose and appropriate use of different types of assessments. They will also understand the role that leaders play in establishing a comprehensive balanced system of assessment and in building a culture of assessment literacy at the local level. In terms of the success criteria, we want leaders to be able to evaluate the different types of assessments that are used in their school and district and to identify appropriate uses for the data produced through their local assessment system. Finally, we want them to reflect on their current culture of assessment literacy in their school or district. Module one takes approximately 90 minutes to complete. However, this can be broken down into more than one session. To assist in planning, we have provided estimated times for each section of the module in the facilitator's guide. There are seven sections and you can see the estimated times for each section in the right hand column. Section one provides a brief introduction by taking a closer look at PSIL standard four and its connection to assessment. Section two focuses on the importance of assessment leadership and the three core competencies of assessment leaders. Section three examines the four types of assessment and the purpose of the data elicited by each type. In section four, leaders will take a closer look at the importance of creating and articulating a vision of assessment that is also aligned to their local vision for teaching and learning. Section five looks at the key elements of a comprehensive balanced system of assessment. And finally, section six focuses on three key actions leaders can take to build and sustain a culture of assessment literacy. The module wraps up with leaders reflecting on their learning and brainstorming possible next steps. And so just like Misty shared, this module is broken down into seven sections. There will be three leadership modules in all within this series. The first leadership module includes a facilitator's guide, PowerPoint presentation, and links to additional resources and handouts. All three leadership modules will be released individually as well as packaged together this fall. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to either of us. Misty and I are happy to help clarify or address any wonderings you may have along the way. And remember, you can access this module if you go to the Balanced Assessment PL modules icon under General PL Opportunities on KYStandards.org. Thank you for joining us today.